Curly girls. Well, there's a lot of variations of curl, isn't there? We go from our, our very tight, kinkier base. We go to our loose. Sometimes we need to even encourage that base. But there is one common challenge, and that's frizz. Welcome to Surface Curls. My name is Wayne Grund, Surface Founder. Today we'll share with you learning in two points. The first segment here will be face-to-face. -face. It'll be me interacting with curly hair and the curly products, so you really see their use. And then we're going to go into a more technical explanation of everything in a slide presentation. Ultimately, I hope that you all challenge yourself to the Curl Certification Program for Stylus. And also to be able to attend one of our hands-on Curl Certification Programs that involves the cutting of curls. So let's start with, first of all, the key to curly hair is to eliminate frizz. Now, I'll give you a little overview in the beginning of it. What is frizz? So if you have a hair shaft and it is a straight hair, so imagine this, the actual hair shaft being straight, there's structural bonds that run horizontally that hold the hair together in the protein fiber. Light hits it, it's shiny, the cuticle is compact, it holds color with it. Now, as that hair curls, where it bends, that structural bond now is stretched. The bond is on the inside. The stretch on that bond causes the cuticle to raise, and that's what frizz is. The tighter the curl, the more stretch you have on the structural bond, and the more frizz that there can be. And what that frizz is, is the stress that's on the bond raising the cuticle, and that's where you lose moisture. That's where color fades from. So the first thing we note at surface curls is we work inside the hair to strengthen the structural bond with vitamin K that we drive from cocoa butter. And yes, anybody who's already used it goes, it smells amazing. Well, please let me share with you what that smell is. It's certified organic cocoa butter and it's vitamin K that works inside the hair to hold it together. The way that we get it in there was the certified organic babassu oil. The babassu oil is an organic penetrating oil, and it penetrates the hair shaft, taking in the vitamin K. It also carries with it tremendous moisturizing benefits. It also carries with it amaranth protein, which is a flexible protein. In today's day and age, there's been many advancements since the curly care products that were derived in the 1990s and early 2000s, one of them being protein. People were scared of protein in curly hair because it could possibly dry it out. The protein that Surface uses provides flex to the protein so it can strengthen the hair without drying it out. The other thing I want to identify is the challenge of silicones. In the 1990s and early 2000s, that science was 100% correct because the cones is a better term, the cone family being dimethicone, silaxicone, depending on the size of the cone molecule, they could coat the hair and they could end up feeling good in the beginning, but it would dry it out long term because they weren't water soluble. That was then, this is now. Surface derives cones, whether it's silaxicone, whether it's dimethicone, from natural sources of sea sand and quartz. They become emollients, which are water soluble, but while in the hair, help hold moisture in. So with that, we take you into the new worlds of curl care. There's also two directions that we're going to take today. One is in caring for curls, whether you're embracing them and wearing them to find, or whether you're taking those curls and you are smoothing them. So to begin with, let's jump into the proper curl care. What we've done here is we've shampooed with our curl shampoo, as you would in the shower. Then here, because we were working with a very tight, kinky curl, we chose to use mask as you would in the shower. If you're working with a curl that wouldn't need as much moisture, you could use the curls conditioner, but every five shampoos, you could still use the mask. Key point, in the shower, 
The mask is applied to hair that tends to have more tangles to their curl. And then take it, squeeze the mask in the hair, leave the curls mask for your 60 seconds, and then comb it through right in the shower. That's on your extreme basis. Please never ruffle dry your curls. We haven't here. What we've done is we've just squeezed the moisture out. Now, you know what it can look like underneath? Yes. Please, at this point, we do not begin combing the curls whatsoever. That's when we use the Curl Whip. The Curl Whip is a leave-in conditioner and we apply small amounts throughout the hair, squeezing it from the ends up. The reason that Curl Whip is a foam is to maintain a very, very, very light weight. And as we squeeze it, we can actually feel that moisture go into the hair. Very small amounts, I'm working my way all the way around. Now, as I work my way around and squeeze this in, I would have an option too, at this point, of going ahead and using the curls mask, squeezing it in, and even doing a treatment, doing a bake. I won't be going into the details of a bake in this training experience, However, look at our university online and see the bake right from the start to the finish. A tremendous in-salon treatment for your curly guests. Now, having squeezed it through, and our hair here is extremely kinky, meaning it's very thirsty. The structural bond has an extreme stretch on it, really opening it up. So right now, even before I go to comb and detangle through, I'll use a little bit of high impact moisture, which is the serum. I'll take a little bit of the serum, and especially if there's any real frizzy areas, I'll work it over the top. So let's take the serum again, a little on each side, and you can see that's just a very nice moisturizing oil is what that serum is. If I have baby, baby, fine curly hair, I may choose to use basu oil, which is a little lighter. But for medium to coarse curls, please use the syrup. Now, after we've squeezed it in, now it's time to detangle. So at this point, I'm going to use the surface curls comb. We'll start on their ends and we'll work our way up. So let's take a look at how nice this can comb through now. So as I'm combing through, I'm separating the curls, very little tension that's on them. And if I do find a knot anywhere whatsoever, I'll make sure I gently take a little bit of serum and go back over top of that area. So taking that line through, very gently combing those curls all out. You'll see when we go to embrace the curls, we'll squeeze the curl pattern back in. But before we begin either air drying or diffusing, which we'll go through today, I want to make sure that those curls have been completely smoothed through. I will not let any of the tangles right into that hair. So we come through and just continue to work your way up. I think the most impressive thing is I'm not having hair in my comb. I'm not having hair break off out because I went and I was strengthening that first. So let's work our way very gently through our curls. And then at this point, let's embrace them. So we'll take them, we'll set them through. And I'll take you through the steps that we set this tighter curl in, as well as the steps that we can use the looser curl in. Now, first option, let's say that my guest here is trying to grow her curls longer. 
The actual cuticle on tight, kinky hair may be only three layers to a maximum of five. So when those curls hit the shoulder, they begin to wear away. It's friction. It's like wearing the same sweater every day for 365 days. You're going to wear the elbows out. So at this point, what I would do is I would take my one shot, which is the maximum of the amaranth protein, and right through my ends, wherever I'm trying to grow that hair longer, I work my one shot. I then take the top, I put it back on for my next time around. So having taken that, squeezing that one shot in. Now, let's say we're going to define our curls. In defining the curls, the first thing I'm going to do is pick up the Frizz Free Spray Gel. Frizz Free is concentration of glycoproteins and sugars that wrap the actual hair shaft in defining the curl. Or, you'll see afterwards, I also use it if I'm smoothing the curls. So now, let's come in mist the frizz free and it has very little to no hole it's entirely responsible now just for wrapping that hair to have it be frizz free to have more hold and definition i'll move to our firm mousse Shake it well before its application, and you'll see it comes out in a very thick, rich gel foam. And the same thing as I did here, because now this has hold. We haven't really applied anything with hold yet, and we'll squeeze it from the ends up. The even distribution of your styling product is so important. Really focus on this one. Curly hair can also dry very fast in the porous areas. So if you get distracted whatsoever before you put your styling product on and the hair is too dry, the ends may sop up more of your mousse and styling product. So make sure the moisture is even in the hair and then you evenly distribute your styling product. So working it from ends up. Now, here's a hot tip, depending on how much time you have at home or in the salon. If you have time at home, I suggest allowing the hair to air dry as much as you can before you pick up your diffuser. Sometimes time doesn't allow that. This is a must, as was the curls comb. This is a curls rake for every curly girl. I want lift at the root. So I want to make sure I don't disturb that curl pattern now. I'm going to lift that base up. And remember that friction disturbs the curl and can equal frizz. So I've got my shape just the way I want it. I can let it air dry some. And then if I want to, and I will finish, if I want more of a defined curl, I'm going to finish diffused. Especially if I'm a curly girl that's got a looser wave like this, I really need to define that hair and I need to be able to diffuse the base. So let's go to a little bit of a, an example here of what I can use at this point. And it's what we did in finishing here. I want you to think of the curl now. And this curl looks a little lazy, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty cool, but I need if I need to enforce it more, and I did here, I'll go outside of the curls, and I'm going to go into surface styling, and this is swirl. So if I have a curl that's a little lazier, I'll take the swirl, and I mist it onto the damp hair after I put on the curl whip leave-in conditioner mousse, and before I style. So at that point, what it's going to do is it helps crispen that curl up. Now for diffusing. When I diffuse, I have to use gravity as my friend. Otherwise, my root lays down. 
So as I diffuse, I'll take the head, turn to the side, and get the gravity off of the hair. I will use a low speed and a high heat on my dryer. When the hair is almost dry, I'll turn my heat down to cool to help set that in. Here's another really important hot tip in setting that curl definition. And that is the curls finishing spray. When the hair is still damp, I'll mist the finishing spray in and I'll finalize that curl. And as soon as anybody goes, smells the spray, they go, oh, that smells amazing. Remember to remind them what they're smelling is certified organic cocoa butter and it's the vitamin K that's helping strengthen that bond. Now, you have to commit. When I'm doing my final touches on the hair and it's a little bit damp and I go, oh, I'll just let it dry the rest of the way on its own. Here's the challenge is what happens is as it dries the rest of the way on its own, it pulls the root area down. So you really want to make sure that you finished it all the way. And when it is finished and dry, you take the curls finishing spray and we mist it through again. Now, after I'm done misting it through, I may want to define it a little bit more. I may want a little bit of separation with it. At that point, that's when I'm going to go to the curls cream wax. The curls cream wax comes onto my hand. I'm going to heat it up lightly, and that's when I'll go in and I'll define any of those curls. Remember, I'm not going to brush them. I'm not going to pick them. I'm simply going to define them. And I prefer to never do that with a dry hand. That's where my wax gives me that beautiful separation. The cream wax also adds some nice moisture to the hair. You can see them really nicely defined. So whether I'm working on very tight curly hair or kinky, whether I'm working on loose hair, I'm going to go in and define them. And it's a regime. Now at this point, I know many people would say, well, which one do I need to use the most? I suggest as a stylist, you recommend to your guest the complete regime and let them know when their beauty budget affords it, they can move into additional products. Because if I want this look, I need everything I've used right now. The best way to begin to get into your curls is what? Your box set. It's your shampoo, your conditioner, and your leave-in curl whip. So that might be recommendation number one. Then recommendation number two for sure has got to go to what? Got to go to the frizz free spray gel. Now, whether I'm a loose curl or I'm a tight curl, here comes another element of recommendation. Daily moisture. Because what happens is that structural bond tends to want to reform. And the hair needs additional moisture and that vitamin K. So every single day in between, yes, you can last in between shampoos on day two, day three, day four, we take just a little bit of the serum and we refresh the curls in the morning. So I'm just lightly squeezing it into the hair and we're moisturizing those curls every morning. So now, do I need this? Yes, if I want to moisturize the curls, but there's something else that's happening at this point. By moisturizing that curl and reducing the frizz, I'm helping my hair color last longer because it doesn't have the raised cuticle, as you would call the frizz, to be able to escape. So at this point, we see that the regime now for de definition, I want the curls for a mousse. To set the curl, I need the spray. We need to respect all of the guests' beauty budgets out there, but the plan is to be able to become into the complete regime so that your curls are absolutely perfect. Now, one of the other things that may be new to many curly girls out there, 
is hairspray. And I've been blessed to be married to a curly girl now for 42 years. And when we first started dating, even in the years before that, this girl had the most beautiful curly hair, but boy, could it become frizzy. Yes, tell secrets out of school. She was the curly girl that would even try and sleep with a bathing cap on to collapse those curls. So there was many years that Deborah would say to me, don't touch my hair. I just did it. Because you know, friction is frizz. The challenge was in those other years, hairsprays and styling products had plastics and they would hold the curl together. So yes, if I reached over and I touched her beautiful curls, what would happen is the plastics that were holding curls together would pull apart and there's extra frizz. So being motivated by my lovely wife, when we did curls, they're plastic free. One of the key ingredients is the sugar proteins, the glycoproteins that not only work inside the hair, but the sugar fibers that hold the hair. So as you see, the Surface Curls hairspray has no plastic, so they don't stick the hair together. They give it beautiful style memory. Now, in identifying those elements, there's another thing we need to touch base on is, what about when you wake up in the morning and you may have a lazier curl? And it's the curl that you slept on, it may have drooped, oh, hot tip coming to you. You got long hair, you really want to embrace the curls. Before you go to bed at night, you can very loosely take a ponytail on top of the head and use a scrunchie to put it up with it. You'll find in using surface curl styling product, it's not really that necessary, but it does protect longer curls that much more. When you wake up in the morning, you re-moisturize them with your serum, but what if you need to touch that curl up just a little bit? Well, let's say that I, I'm just going to grab one here. It does look good. Let's say that this area was looking just a little bit lazy. What I can do is I will rake it through. I will take the curl spray. And I use it as a curling thermal and setting styler. So now I can curl right over the top to enhance that. You can see that it is no stick whatsoever because there's no plastics. Drop that beautiful ringlet out. Please let it cool before you touch it. So before I touch this now, on my second day, third day, fourth day defining, just a little bit more cream wax into my hand, take the area that may have gotten a little lazy, yes it's cool, and separate it gently to embrace that curl again. Now, and I've joked with this throughout the world, but it's so true, do one of these. Anybody see a magic wand? No. If I want these beautiful curls to embrace, I need the products that have been formulated specifically to do that. And at Surface, we're committed to providing the products that completely respect personal health and the earth. Now, what about if I was moving into taking my curls smooth? The care stays the same. Please note that. It's my curl shampoo, my conditioner, my mask, my serum, my, my, my lead-in. But if I want to go smooth, at this time here to take curls and blow dry them smooth, there is only one go-to product. So we stay the same, but at the point after we've applied the serum, before we go to the mousse, we go to the smoothing cream. And I stress it again, I know I've said it many times, but please bear with me. When I'm smoothing, the frizz-free spray gel is just as important as it was when I was curling. So the frizz-free spray gel is on, and then is my smoothing cream. The smoothing cream has a high concentration of the vitamin K to be able to speed the smoothing, and it also has tourmaline. Tourmaline is a mineral that reacts with heat to help tighten the cuticle down. As you know, many people with curly hair, when you begin to blow dry, even going smooth, what does the hair do? Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. 
we want to be able to collapse that hair down. So by using the tourmaline, it tightens the cuticle and it helps a nice smooth blow dry. Now, what if I also then want to come in and use a little bit of curling iron on or flat iron on it? So here's one thing that I saved for you. Because remember, we set the curls earlier. with the curl spray. And now what we're gonna do is use that same curl spray as a thermal protectant for my flat iron. And as you can see, it becomes a one pass smoothing. When you do see any of the steam come off, that's actually taking the protein and being able to weld it into the hair. So we'll take another section. We'll move up here. Now, I'm taking a very large section just to be able to respect the time that you've graciously given us a surface here. And the density of the hair would depend on how thick of a section that you would take. You can see the shine, you can see the protection that we get onto that hair and we comb it across. Now, before I touch it again, I'm going to let the hair cool. And now, with our smooth area dry, I'll take just a little bit of the serum, take that curl serum over the top and come in and finish my smoothing line. At this point, it's controlled and it's nice and shiny. One other hot tip on glamorizing curls. Whether I have a very, very tight curl or a looser curl, I'm gonna go into the surface styling products again. And my very favorite glamour product is the taffy wax. So what this is, is the Japanese wax tree. And you'll see when it comes out, the light white fiber of the wax. But as soon as I squeeze it, it melts into the curls. So as it melts into the curls, you can just see the shine glamorize the curls. The heat of my hand melts it. And those thirsty curls even have now a little bit of extra moisture. Let's take a look at how we can glamorize that looser curl. We'll take that curl, we'll lightly mist again. And then the heat of our hands melts that wax fiber into the hair. Oh my goodness, is that absolutely gorgeous or what? And that's the taffy spray wax. Taking, squeezing that in, melting it into the hair, melting that into beautiful glamour curls. The other surface product that's an absolute must for curly girls is the Trinity Dry Shampoo. Now, there's two things I want you to identify as when you first do your curls in the salon or at home, an enemy is moisture and perspiration is moisture. So on day one, if you're on a high humidity day, make sure that after you're done, you've misted your scalp with the Trinity Dry Shampoo. Why? Because when you begin to perspire, the Trinity Dry Shampoo will eliminate the moisture from it. 
as well as your in-between days to refresh in the scalp. And it also provides some extra UV protection. My name is Wayne Grunder, founder of Surface. I hope you've enjoyed the experience we've had today with Surface Curls. From caring from the curls, to being able to style the curls with definition, embracing them, to styling them smooth. We care for your curls from the inside out to be able to defrizz those. Please join us for the detailed slide-by-slide -slide presentation of the sciences behind the Curls products. And I challenge you as a stylist to become Curl certified and attend one of our hands-on cutting Curls classes. Welcome to Surface Curls eLearning. My name is Wayne Grund, Surface Founder. Today we'll learn the details of the structure of textured hair and what is frizz. Five necessities for beautiful, healthy curls, caring for curls, styling curls defined and smooth, and the 10 must do's for curly hair. The presentation and training you're about to go through, you'll find the slides that support this on surfacehair.com professional in the certification for curls section. Frizz. Frizz, breakage, and dull curls are the result of stress on the hair's structural bonds, which results in moisture and color loss. The curlier the hair, the more natural stress on the structural hair bonds. The hair follicle shape determines hair texture. The rounder the follicle, the straighter the hair. The more oblong the follicle, the more wavy, curlier, and ultimately the spiral coiled kinky the hair. Straight hair. Structural bonds are horizontal. No stress, good shine. The bond runs evenly across the hair. Curly hair structural bonds are stretched diagonally. At the point of stretch, it creates frizz and damage. This stress point is where moisture and color is lost. The frizz occurs and the hair is dull. Surface curls, the structural bonds are strengthened. The cuticle bound to the cortex, whether the hair is curly or straightened in styling. Babasu Organic Penetrating Oil provides moisture. Amaranth Gluten-Free Protein provides flexible strength. The structural bonds are strengthened from vitamin K sourced from cocoa butter. And sugarcane provides glycoproteins which bond the cuticle to the cortex and tourmaline locks it in. Moringa, the antioxidant, provides clarity and shine by reducing free radicals within the hair. On surface curls, strengthen, hydrate, and moisturize the structural bond elasticity. Condition and mesh the hair's fiber during styling, curly or smooth. As you see the example of a straight hair and the horizontal bonds with no stress. On an extreme example of curly hair, you see the structural bonds are stretched diagonally, which causes frizz and damage in the stress points. Five necessities for beautiful, healthy curls. Number one, elasticity. Cocoa butter is rich in vitamin K and magnesium, which strengthens the hair elasticity, allowing curls to maintain style. Specifically, vitamin K strengthens the structural bonds. Hydration, add moisture. Babasu oil provides weightless penetration of cocoa butters, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which moisturize the cortex and the cuticle. Moisturize, emollients lock in the moisture, reducing frizz all day long. Babasu oil and cocoa butter combine with antioxidants and naturally derived shampoo soluble emollient cones Surface naturally derives cones from sea sand and quartz.
They lock moisture into the hair and are 100% water soluble. Surface cones are not to be confused with non-water soluble cones. Cones vary in size, with the first syllable of their name reflecting the size of the molecule. For example, dimethicone is a larger molecule, while selexahexacone is a smaller molecule. Various sizes are essential for supporting moisture at all depths of the hair. To provide long-term benefit to curls, they are shampoo soluble. Strength. Amaranth protein provides a flexible strength to curls, which supports style longevity and anti-frizz. Important to note, Surface has developed amaranth as a flexible protein that moves with the hair and does not harden to the hair, which can dry hair out. It's recommended that traditional keratin protein not be used on curly hair. Style. Glycoproteins derived from sugar interlock the cuticle and cortex to provide styling hold and curl control. Heat styling is now good for curls as tourmaline locks glycoproteins into the hair, reducing frizzing and adding style longevity. Do not use plastic PVPVA based stylers on curly hair. Hair products, cosmetic products, all products contain two categories of ingredients, drivers and actives. The drivers carry in the actives to the hair and skin to do their job. Surfaces harness Babasu penetrating oil as both a driver to carry botanicals into the hair and for its own source of moisture and antioxidants. Surfaces replace traditional wheat keratin protein with amaranth, known as the never fading flower for its natural resistance to UV. We derive it through a hydrolyzation process to liquefy it into three atomic weights for sizes that can support strength in the hair in the innermost area, 200 atomic weight, mid shaft 750, and the biggest split end base of 2000. This protein is cationic, which means it's positively charged. And it has a catalyst that then hardens to the hair to become covalent while maintaining a bond building process that is flexible. The color beta complex is in all surface products. Ceramide NP provides a UV shield. Ceramides are fruit fats and lipids. The antioxidants derived from these fruits also reduce free radicals to help preserve color in between and during shampoos and conditioning. Surface is cruelty free, organic ingredient formulated, paraben free, gluten free, sulfate free, vegan, and the ingredients are all sustainably developed. Completely free of PVPVA plastics, which is one of the most key things to reduce frizzing in curly hair. Surface curls. What is it? Hair care and styling products for curly textured hair. What it does? Moisturize, define, eliminate frizz, and increase hair's elasticity. How it works? But basu oil carries cocoa butter deep into the hair, strengthening the curls bonds while moisturizing. Glycoprotein eliminates frizz and increases elasticity. Who's it for? Curly and textured hair needing moisture control definition. Style smooth or curly. Problem it solves. Define or smooth curls increase elasticity and moisture from the inside out. Hashtag surface curls. This is a great place to go to be able to explore the beautiful successes with surface curls and for stylists to be able to show their guests. Be able to forward them to them, take a look at the experiences with it. A wonderful area for you to be able to market from. Curls is a system, a system of caring and styling, both to embrace curls and to smooth them. The best way to get into the care system is definitely with the Curls Shadow Box, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the Curl Whip Leave-In Conditioner. Curl Shampoo, cleanse, moisturize, detangle, soften, shine, protect color, all while being sulfate free. 
please make special note here, natural cleansing. In past years and actually past decades, there's been claims made to not shampoo the scalp, no poo shampoo, no lather shampoo. And in fact, that's led to many challenges with scalp irritations and with hair loss. Please know that the Curl Shampoo is a natural cleansing system with naturally derived organic cleansers, very gentle and it seals moisture into the hair. You need a healthy scalp to produce healthy curls. The Curls Conditioner is your moisturizing, detangling, softening, shines, and also protects color. The Curl Whip Mousse is a leave-in conditioner, tremendous detangler, moisturizer, anti-frizz properties, it gives you natural control and protects color. You apply it to clean, damp hair. Apply in small amounts to small sections of the hair and apply from the ends up as you squeeze in. The reason that Curl Whip is a mousse is to have the maximum light and airiness as it wraps the curl to really condition it as it's detangled. How does it work? A high concentration of glycoproteins bind the hair's fiber, the cuticle and cortex together to provide detangling, control, and anti-frizzing. Curls mask, deep moisture, repair, shine, protect color, and bake in moisture treatment. Love your frizz-free hair. A key ingredient here is Moringa. With over 30 antioxidants, 10 vitamins, 18 minerals, 8 essential amino acids, and 10 non-essential amino acids, Moringa renews, protects, and rebuilds the internal structure of curls, strengthens elasticity, and moisturizes and locks in that moisture. How do you use it? The simple way is after a shampoo, apply to wet hair, massage in, leave 60 seconds, and rinse. Prior to applying your styling product, you may apply a small amount of the Curls Mask and leave it in. The maximum treatment is the Moisture Bake. We'll address that a little bit later. The Curls Serum. The serum being heavier than an oil for maximum shine, moisture, and repair. The problem it solves reduces color fading and moisture loss from curly hair. What is it? It's a Curl Care Serum. Who's it for? Medium to coarse curly hair. Curly hair that has been colored. What it does, hydrates, moisturizes, and shields UV. How to use it? Apply daily to hair wet or dry. Use alone or layer with surface curl styling. Use dry prior to thermal pressing. How does it work? It fills porous, moisture deficient curly hair. The Babasu oil drives a concentration of cocoa butter, color beta complex, and glycoproteins deep into the hair. On in between days of shampoo, when those ends become thirsty again, it's so important to apply the curl serum so that there is not color fadage or moisture fadage during the day. Frizz free spray gel. Set your curls, blow dry smooth, use a loner layer, provide shine and humidity resistance. This lightweight sugar gel wraps hair to eliminate frizz. To use it, mist damp hair prior to applying curl defining or smoothing product. It may be used alone for light natural control. Firm mousse, defining fibers, hold and shine. Cream wax, define your curls, shine your curls, provide texture and a control hold. Use the cream wax dry to define curls. Use it damp for a natural, very soft texture pattern. Smoothing cream, blow dry hair smooth, shine, moisturize, anti-frizz and protect color. The problem it solves, it reduces volume, dry time and frizz during the blow dry. Who's it for? Medium to coarse curly hair. What it does, it reduces volume by up to 50%, reduces dry time by up to 30%, 
It shines, conditions, and color protects. Provides humidity resistance. How to use it? Apply to clean, damp hair and blow dry. For the best results, mist the hair first with the curls frizz free. How it works. Tourmaline mineral reacts with heat to tighten the hair during blow drying and seals in the necessary moisture while reducing volume. Natural sugars and glycoproteins provide style memory, protection, and humidity resistance. Finishing spray. Defining fibers, hold, shine, and use for thermal styling. The problem the Curls Finishing Spray solves, it eliminates the crunch and frizz of traditional hairsprays. What is it? It's a hairspray for curly hair to embrace or smooth your curls. Who's it for? All curly hair types. What it does? Style memory and protection free of crunch and frizz. How to use it? Mist dry curls for definition and style memory. Mist into damp curls for definition. And thermal styler for flat iron or curling iron work to set a curl. How does it work? Natural sugars and glycoproteins provide style memory, protection, and humidity resistance. Curl care. Whether you embrace or smooth your curls, this is the curl care system. Curl shampoo, conditioner, and curl whip leave-in conditioner. Here are your options. The serum, serum provided wet or dry to defrizz. The mask, intense moisture or a moisture baked treatment. And the one shot to thicken and strengthen your ends. Curl care, shampoo, conditioner. Leave the conditioner on for one minute. With extreme tangles, comb it out in the shower while rinsing. Towel blot hair, do not rub dry. Leave the hair wet to the touch. Number three, apply your Curl Whip leave-in conditioner. Apply a golf ball amount to sections each side and back. Apply from the ends up and then gently separate the curls using fingers and the surface TK2 rake. For additional options for maximum hydration and moisture for extremely coarse hair, after applying the Curl Whip, apply the Curl Serum to the driest areas. Use Basu Oil on fine hair. To enhance the uneven curl pattern after applying curl whip and separating the curls, mist on swirl. To strengthen weak hair ends, use one shot. The curls bake system. A great place to see seeing is believing is hashtag surface curls bake. Some amazing before and afters there for you to learn from and also for you to share with salon guests. The five steps, number one, shampoo, two lathers. Remember, this is gentle scalp cleansing and maintaining moisture. Then take the mask and squeeze in. Do not rinse, do not comb. Squeeze it from the ends up. And yes, after the shampoo, you have towel blotted that hair. Number three, here's an option for tight frizz and weak ends. For tight frizz, use a little serum over the top. And for weak ends, add a little one shot. Number four is your curl whip. Squeeze it in, do not rinse, and up to this point you've not detangled that hair. Detangle it, mist a little bit of frizz free, and dry into your curls. Do not rinse them out. Styling curls. Frizz free spray gel. Begin all curl styling defined or smooth with a mist of frizz free spray gel. Styling smooth, you then apply your smoothing cream. After your blow dry, if you're flat ironing, use your curl spray. Finish detailing with curl serum. To define your curls, after this frizz-free spray gel, use the curls firm mousse. When you're a bit damp, use the curls finishing spray. Finish with the curls finishing spray and then detail with curls cream wax. On their very frizzy ends, also curl serum. And remember for that colored hair curl serum is a must daily. Product application. Following your curl care ensure that the hair has even moisture and is wet to the touch. 
If porous sections of the hair have been dried more than others, miss the hair with water or for added strength, miss the Trinity tonic. The reason for this is porous hair, especially the curls, will absorb too much of your styling product. Apply the Frizz Free Spray Gel before applying your choice curl styling product. Apply the styling product beginning at the ends of the hair and gently scrunching up the hair shaft towards the scalp. Separate curls with the Surface TK2 Rake. Lift the base of the curls away from the scalp using the pick end of the rake. The less stretch or tension on the curl, the better. Additional wet styling options. Bliss Smoothing Cream. Used to blow dry to maintain body while blow drying smooth. Especially recommended for finer curly hair. Taffy Whip. Defined with a spring-like finish. Jump Mousse. For extra root boost with a flexible crunch. Push Powder. Apply dry for root lift. And Taffy Spray Wax. Lightly mist dry, squeeze into the curls for instant glamour. Now diffusing defined curls. Number one, air dry for as long as possible or until 80% dry before diffusing. Diffuse the curls by tipping ahead to the side or back, allowing curls to loosely drop into the diffuser. Let gravity be your friend. For added definition during diffusing, mist the damp curls with curls finishing spray. Use minimal contact with hands or fingers. Friction equals frizz. Reduce the friction with your hair. Start with a high heat and a low airflow. When 80% dry, switch to a cool air. When 80% dry, gently lift the hair and that's the best time for the curls finishing spray mist. Diffuse to 100% dry. Mist curls finishing spray at that point. An option. For more lift and volume, use surface clips to lightly lift the roots from the scalp while diffusing. Surface clip setting. Use this technique to clip set curls during a curls mask moisture bake or use curls firm mousse to clip set your style. Use the surface TK2 rig to separate your curl pattern. Loosely pin curl sections around three fingers and wrap to the scalp. Clip with your surface clip. Continue around the head setting curls in the direction you wish for the final movement to flow. One clip will hold two sections. To maintain the length of the style, do not pin the curl at the nape. The surface clips provide excellent control and do not interfere with the curl pattern. Mist all curls with curls finishing spray and place under a dryer until 100% dry. Be sure to check the hair of the tips of the clips to make sure that they're dry as well. Place Curls Cream Wax on your fingertips prior to removing the clips as this will lessen the friction with the hair. Detail the curls with your Curls Cream Wax. 10 must do's for curly hair. Number one, healthy scalp. Curl shampoo gently cleanses the scalp while moisturizing the hair. Towel blot and squeeze the hair, do not ruffle dry. Number two, maintain root lift for curls. Immediately after styling, mist the scalp with Trinity Dry Shampoo. If the scalp perspires, the Trinity Dry Shampoo will absorb the moisture, allowing for root lift of the curls to be maintained. Number three, second day healthy scalp. On days that you do not shampoo, every morning refresh your scalp with a mist of the Trinity Dry Shampoo. Keep color lasting longer by reducing the fading through dry porous areas. Apply Curl Serum twice per day, every day for fine hair curls, use Basu Oil. Number five must do for curly hair. Second day curls are frizz free with surface curls. Refresh these curls with Curls Cream Wax, Curl Serum and or Curls Hairspray. Number six, Curly haircut is a must. Certified surface curl stylists are trained to cut curly hair with control and no tension. They identify the proper place within the curl pattern to cut and they allow for curl shrinkage. 
Number seven, frizz free styling. Have curls cream wax or curl serum on fingertips when defining curls. Use the surface TK2 rake to separate and lift curls. Remember, friction equals frizz. Number eight, curl over curl. When hair is 100% dry, reinforce weak curls by misting curls hairspray over the section and curl with a curling iron. Number nine, Diffuse on low air flow with high heat. When 80% dry, mist the curls hairspray and switch to cool. Always diffuse to 100% dry. Here it comes, ready? Number 10, choose ammonia free color for textured hair. Number one reason it gentle delivery of color is a must. Ammonia free is less swelling. Remember, curly textured hair already has stress on those internal bonds. Number two reason behind ammonia-free, gentle oxidization. Ammonia-free is better condition. Number three, eliminate free radicals, being sure that your color uses enzyme cream activators. Number four, why ammonia-free color for textured hair? Longer lasting color achieved through bond building attachment of color. Now, pure color is an excellent choice for this. Let's see some quick reasons why. Now, first of all, hair is lightened and color deposited how? It swells. At that point, oxidization must occur where protein and melanin are broken down for a space to be created and color fills the space. Remember, on curly hair, we have to be so gentle in the swelling and the oxidization. Ammonia, there's more swelling, there's a large oxidized space and more damage. In ammonia-free, there's less swelling, small oxidization, and better condition. Specifically with pure color, number one, babassu oil helps penetrate and moisturize as the hair swells ammonia-free. Number two, ammonia-free oxidization maintains condition. Color fills the space and the color is also PPD free. The bond building attachment of color is so important when you're working ammonia free. A challenge with ammonia free is sometimes color will not last as long. With pure color, we've been able to overcome that by having a protein attachment of color. And we eliminate free radicals with the use of enzyme cream activators. Bond building attachment is a key to the beauty and the longevity of curly hair and lasting hair color. Enzyme cream activators, the way they really work is when the free radicals occur with inside the hair for, and when it's oxidizing, immediately the pectinase and the moringa eliminate them. So when the light comes into the hair, the maximum shine comes out. And that's so important with that natural curly hair Surface curls, we've explored the texture, we understood what frizz is, the five necessities for beautiful, healthy curls, caring for curls, styling curls defined and smooth, and reviewing the 10 must-dos for curly hair. For much more information on surface and curls in general, please visit us at vimeo.com surface hair for our Surface U University. You'll see on their technique videos as well, that are to trend release styling. Please explore these and learn. Ultimately, look to surface to find out when there's a certification hands-on cutting and caring for curls near you. To become a curl certified stylist with not only the knowledge of the curl and styling behind you, but the actual cutting. Thank you for becoming a curl certified stylist in advance. I know you'll attend now. Wayne Grund here saying, Please identify your guest needs, maximize those needs, and love your frizz-free hair.